It may be only once in a generation that the world encounters a scientist with the ability and virtues to change the world. While such a person can undoubtedly produce new breakthroughs in the realm of science, there are occasionally other ways they can influence our lives. Despite a crippling medical condition, Stephen Hawking displayed the perseverance to continue his life's calling, the intelligence to tackle some of science's most perplexing questions, and a dedication to the scientific method becoming of only the greatest scientist to have ever lived. As I became increasingly interested in the many scientific disciplines, I naturally gravitated towards Stephen Hawking's various appearances and publications. I have followed Dr. Hawking's life and works and have come to idolize many of his attributes. First, I'll describe Dr. Hawking's remarkable perse perseverance in the face of an uncurable, life-threatening illness. Second, we'll take a look at how his extreme intelligence and how he utilized this to answer difficult questions and influence the popularity of science in general. Finally, I will discuss Dr. Hawking's commendable dedication to the scientific method. In 1963, Stephen Hawking was a graduate student at the University of Oxford when he was delivered a debilitating diagnosis. Like an earthquake that rocks the foundation of even the sturdiest of structures, the doctor's words reverberated through his being. You have only two years to live. Though he was initially overcome with self-pity and depression, his resolve to utilize what time he had left proved stronger than these fatalistic feelings. In 1966, just three years after his diagnosis, Hawking completed his PhD in theoretical physics and applied mathematics. Despite being diagnosed with an uncurable disease and given a short time to live, he carried on. Despite knowing that this disease would slowly eat his muscles to the point of paralysis, he carried on. Despite watching himself lose the ability to perform even basic functions, he carried on. Rather than cashing in after being dealt a horrible hand, he doubled down instead. This fierce desire to continue living life as normal in the face of such unimaginable news gives me only the highest esteem for Dr. Hawking. In addition to Stephen Hawking's profound display of perseverance, he utilized his amazing intelligence to generate a clearer picture of the world we live in. Possibly his most renowned trait is Professor Hawking's deep intelligence and ability to visualize complex problems that ordinary minds would struggle with. He, completed, he graduated high school early and began attending one of the top universities in the world at just the age of 17. He's considered to have had an IQ above 160, well over the established threshold for genius. He applied his wits to the field of theoretical physics and soon held a doctoral degree in the subject. Until his death in 2018, he lectured at Cambridge University, where he held the title of Lucasian Professor, a title once held by the revered Sir Isaac Newton. While his mind was able to understand theoretical ideas and solve complex problems, his pen spoke in simple terms, able to be understood by all. He was able to transduce his excellent understanding of physics into everyday language that helped to popularize physics and science in general. Dr. Hawking authored many best-selling books, including the famous A Brief History of Time. Crippling illness may have confined Hawking to a chair, but his massive, massive mental capacity gave him the ability to explore the universe. While his intelligence is certainly commendable, Hawking possessed an extraordinary dedication to the scientific method that granted him worldwide respect. Even when colleagues displayed doubt toward his theories, Hawking remained true to that which he knew best, science. When physicists populate, postulated that black holes could exist in nature, it was thought that their immense gravity would prevent them from ever being detected. While this is true for practical purposes, Hawking theorized that black holes would actually emit trace amounts of radiation. Scientists around the world criticized him for this theory. A fish swimming against the current, a lone tree growing atop a mountain, a man challenging the status quo. After years of painstaking research, Hawking's theory proved adept. Black holes emit thermal radiation. Despite the majority of the world believing him incorrect, Stephen Hawking's immense dedication to the scientific method resulted in a theory that questioned the general consensus of the time. In the face of an entire world of skeptics, Stephen Hawking, uh, Hawking utilized the scientific method to support his claim and change the minds of his colleagues. Sometimes we all must question what we think we know to get to the real truth, and Stephen Hawking is a shining example of this.
In conclusion, first I illustrated how Stephen Hawking's ability to succeed despite a horrific illness is a testament to the man that he was. Next, I showed how his vast intelligence allowed him to understand complex ideas and translate them to be understandable by the general population. Lastly, we examined how his intricate dedication to the scientific method allowed him to challenge accepted norms of science. Despite the crippling medical condition, Stephen Hawking displayed the perseverance to continue his life's calling, the intelligence to tackle some of science's most perplexing questions, and a dedication to the scientific method, becoming of only the greatest scientists to have ever lived. If ever there lived a man worthy of respect by all, Stephen Hawking is certainly a qualifier. He may have died in 2018, but his legacy and the virtues he displayed will be remembered for many generations to come. Thank you.